Hi, I'm Mitch Gallagher. Welcome to the Sweetwater Minute. This time out, a revolutionary new version of drum production software from ToonTrack. Let's get started. ToonTrack's Easy Drummer has always been very popular with songwriters and composers because it's very simple to put together song tracks using MIDI files that are in the software and all the drum kits that are available for it. With Easy Drummer 2, they've really upped the ante on this software. They put in a lot of great groove making capabilities, they've expanded the sonic capabilities, there's a new mixer, new effects, and some new song creation tools that are incredibly easy to use and that are very, very powerful. Easy Drummer 2 features a completely new sound engine. It has built-in sample rate conversion, there are more hits per sample, it has multiple hit emulation, which when you have repeated hits makes it sound much more natural. There are other features as well that really go into creating a realistic sounding drum track. Loading up a kit is as simple as going up here to the sound menu. We pull that down and you can see that I actually have a variety of the optional EZX libraries installed, Americana, Claustrophobic, those are all options that you can add to Easy Drummer 2. The two libraries that it comes with are Easy Drummer 2 Modern and Easy Drummer 2 Vintage. Now I've got Easy Drummer 2 Vintage loaded right now. That's a great basic straight ahead drum kit. We can also easily switch over to the Easy Drummer Modern. The graphic changes to show you the modern drum kit. You can see the progress bar up here on the menu as the sounds are loaded. Once that's loaded, we're ready to go. We've got a new kick drum, snare, toms, all of our cymbals, hi-hat, and we also have in Easy Drummer 2 percussion. We've got hand claps, we've got shaker, we've got tambourine. Now these little arrows allow us to mix and match sounds however we like. So it comes with the, uh, the standard uh, snare would be loaded with this kit. We can pull this down and change that out to another snare if we like. We can also adjust the volume of the snare, we can adjust the pitch, and we can set what default kit it loads into. Let's go back to our DW snare here, which is what it loads with. And we can do that with each of the different drums as well as the cymbals and with the percussion up here at the upper right. So we can load hand claps, single claps, group claps, we can step down here to the shaker, we can have a couple of different shakers as maracas, down here with the tambourine, we have two choices there. So you can really customize the sounds and mix and match your kits however you like. One of the big changes in Easy Drummer 2 is the all new mixer, which also features effects chains. Let's switch over to the mixer page and check that out. I've loaded up a drum loop here so that we can listen to the sounds as we're auditioning them. The mixer features full controls for all your sounds. We've got pan controls for each instrument, solo, mute, level control. The readout for the level is here. We've got a meter beside each instrument. We've also got an output, so you can assign that to an individual output, stereo output, multi-channel. Then across the bottom here is where we have our effects chains. Now when we change presets within Easy Drummer 2, we're not only changing the drums that are loaded, we're also changing the effects chains that are loaded. So let me start up this loop and you'll hear the basic sound. It's a straight ahead modern drum kit. Now we can switch that to the 80s preset. Very different sound. We can load up the uh, metal drum kit. You notice that the effects chain changes each time we load up one of those presets. So there are a wide variety of presets available for all the kits that you load in, whether you're working with Easy X's or with the modern and vintage libraries that come with Easy Drummer 2. Another big change in Easy Drummer 2 is the improved browser. Let's check out that page. We'll click on the browser tab. Here are the Easy Drummer 2 libraries that come with the instrument when you install it. Let's select one of those. We'll select the modern vintage. And things are organized by the style of songs. We've got ballads, halftime, mid-tempo. I've got a straight 4-4 four, four selected here. I've got a, a verse groove selected and a variation selected here. And that's what we've been listening to. We can switch to a different variation if we like. We can also audition the grooves right in the browser. Now when you have a lot of libraries installed or a lot of your own MIDI content installed, it can be a challenge to search through all of this, but the new browser makes it very easy to do so. 
we can do a couple of different things here. First, we can search with tags. Each of the grooves that are installed have tags, so you can search by those. You can really distill down what you're looking for to find exactly the grooves that you want to have. Here we're selecting the Easy Drummer 2 kit. We're in the Latin genre. Let's go ahead and select that. We'll choose hi-hat closed, 4-4, four, four, and a beat. And it will show us the types of grooves that match up with all those different filters. Another thing that Easy Drummer 2 can do is intelligently look at the groove that you've selected and find grooves that are similar to it. So if we choose one here, say we'll choose this verse groove, put it into the MIDI drop zone, now Easy Drummer is going to go through and find grooves that it feels match up to that style. So here we've got one that's 100% match, it's basically the groove that we just had. But here's one that's very similar, 98% match. As you go down the list, the match gets less and less close. compared to our original. So this is a very easy way to find similar grooves that can help you put together your songs. If we have a groove in mind and we don't know where to find it in our library, we can use the tap to find function which is also new to Easy Drummer 2. Tap to find basically starts a metronome and then we can click on drums on the screen to enter the groove that we want to hear. Easy Drummer 2 will automatically search through its library and find similar grooves. Let's see how this works. We click on tap to find. The metronome starts, we've got tempo control down here, we've got quantization down here, we can select triplets, 16th note triplets, 16th fourths, we'll leave it on eighths for now. Now we just click on drums, and as we add those, Easy Drummer 2 will start to search through its groove library looking for similar grooves. We can add a hi-hat in. Switch some of those to closed hi-hats. And then we can show results. So Easy Drummer 2 comes up with the grooves that it thinks are similar to what we played. Here's what we played. Here's a similar groove that Easy Drummer found. Another one. So a variety of different choices there that let you go through and find grooves that are similar to what you're looking for and then use those in your songs. Once we select a groove that we like, we can use the Intelligent Edit function in Easy Drummer 2 to customize it to exactly the style that we want from our drummer. Here's how that works. We'll get our uh, Edit Style window opened up here. Edit Play Style. The Edit Play Style window shows us several things. First of all, it tells us that we have a crash on the downbeat of the groove. And that's turned on or off using this Opening Hit function. So the, when the groove starts, we have a crash on that downbeat. Or you can turn that off. No crash. So that's straight ahead, very simple. We can also decide whether we want that to be a muted hit or whether we want it to be a full crash. Edit Playstyle also allows us to select the power hand instrument. That's the instrument that's basically leading our groove. In this case, it's set to the hi-hat, but we can drag that over to, for example, the snare. We could put that on the, uh, the kick drum. Whatever instrument it is that we want to drive our groove is the one we should select as our power hand. Now that can be customized as well. We can choose the different variation of hit that would be used. We've got open hi-hats in this case, closed hi-hats, closed on the tip of the stick, on the edge of the cymbal with a pedal. So you can choose different variations there for what you want to drive your groove. The Edit Playstyle window also allows us to affect the complexity of our groove. So we can select an instrument, let's choose the uh, snare drum for example. In this groove the snare drum is pretty simple. But by turning the amount control, we can change how many snare hits there are per bar. And this is done using intelligence. What they've done is gone in with Easy Drummer and analyzed thousands of drummers playing grooves, and it looks at the statistical probability of whether the drummer would add a hit at a certain place or not. As you change the amount, it changes the number of hits that are going to be showing up inside the groove. Let me show you what I mean. Again, here's our straight ahead groove. We'll increase the amount. We can decrease the amount. We can change the amount of kick drum hits.
In addition to changing the amount of hits, we can work with the velocity to have more variability in our groove. So we have a lot of capability for customizing our grooves and making it sound more realistic because the hits are actually placed where a real drummer would place them. TuneTrack has really increased the song creation capability of Easy Drummer 2 as well. There's a whole new song creator section. If we open this up, basically we can drop a groove into the MIDI drop zone here, and Easy Drummer 2 will intelligently suggest different song arrangements for us using grooves that are related to the one that we selected. So we'll go up and grab our Variation 3 groove that we were using here, place it in the MIDI drop zone, Easy Drummer 2 searches through its library and comes up with different song structures for us. Here's a 12 bar blues, there's a uh, AABA, which would be kind of a verse, verse, chorus, verse, here's a verse, chorus, verse, chorus, so a variety of different arrangements here. Now we can either choose from all of these different options or we can pull an entire structure straight down into the song track. If we shrink this down we can see that what it's done is arrange these different groupings of grooves to put them together into a song. Now you can use this as is, or you can go in and customize this by pulling new grooves in, cutting parts out, repeating parts, however you want to work with the arrangement, you have a good basis here for starting. Once you've finished working with your grooves in your songs, you can easily export them for use in your DAW. There are several ways to do that. First, you can just drag an individual groove into your DAW or onto the desktop. It creates a MIDI file when you do that. You can do the same thing with a song structure. Just grab the song structure and the entire thing will be written as a MIDI file to your desktop. You can also export the MIDI file as audio using the instruments that are loaded into Easy Drummer 2 and then you could load those audio tracks into your DAW. Easy Drummer 2 has a wide variety of other features too, there are so many things we can barely touch on them all. But for example, you can record into Easy Drummer 2 using an electronic drum kit and it will be captured as MIDI drum files that you can load into your groove library and then use inside your song structures. You can also preview grooves using either the tempo that your song is set at or at the original tempo they were recorded at. So a lot of different things there that make it very easy to work with songs and grooves as well as with your drum kits. Now Easy Drummer 2 will run as a standalone instrument, which is the way I'm using it here, it's just running straight inside my Mac, or you can load it up as a plugin within your favorite DAW. There are so many wonderful things about Easy Drummer 2. If you're a songwriter or composer, you're definitely going to want to check out this software. The sounds are incredible, they were recorded by engineer Chuck Anley at Mark Knopfler's studio in England, and the sounds that come with it are really, really incredible. There's a wide array of presets, lots of different sounds there, whether you want vintage sounding drums or more modern sounding drums, and then you can add all of those optional EZX libraries, which give you a vast array of sounds and kits to choose from. In addition to the great sounds, what really stands out about Easy Drummer 2 is the capability it offers for songwriters and composers for creating drum tracks. All of the tools you have at your disposal for creating grooves, for working with song structures, for making the arrangements, customizing the tracks exactly the way that you want them, there really is nothing like Easy Drummer 2 on the market. It's so simple, so fast, and it's so musical. I hope you've enjoyed this first look at Easy Drummer 2 from TuneTrack, really incredible software. I'm Mitch Gallagher. Thanks for joining me for the Sweetwater Minute.